between the body and the mind. So breathing, breathing is an outward sign of uh, the person, is, uh, whether he is alive or not. First, first indication they check whether that person is breathing from the, whether it's abdominally in, up, going up and down, it, they can see that one. Next, confirmation, whether there is a temperature in the body. Temperature, in the, in Taitari Upanishad, it talks about from Akasha, Akasha Tattva. Akasha, space, from the space is born, is air, air is born. From the air movement, from the air, the temperature is born. From the temperature, from heat is born, Agni is born. From Agni, water is born. And from water, earth is born. It's, uh, for example, that air, they say, it's a heavy wind in the summer in Australia, everyone can experience that one. They say in the summer, if it's too windy, they say there is a chances of fire. Friction. Friction happens, fire comes out. Air movement. Through the breathing, the temperature comes. And the, when, the, when it's a too temp hot, perspiration comes out. Water is born from the temperature. If the water, I keep a water in a cup, after a while, and when I empty the cup, I see some sediments at the bottom. There is an earth element. It is a, one by one, it's a, it is born from the space, comes the air, breathing, from the temperature, from the temperature, water, from the water, the Prithvi Tattva. Why? It is called as the Pancha Mahabhutas. It's a linked to one another. In the pranayama, as I mentioned, pranayama, it's um, when the, how the person is breathing, we can determine the mental status. If the person is uh, sh having a short breath, breathing very quickly, that means very restless mind. When a person is breathing very smooth, long inhale and longer exhale, that person has a stable mind. And, uh, today in Bhagavad Gita, we touched upon the, uh, that uh, shloka. Yoga stakuru karmani sangam tyaktva dhananjaya siddha asiddho samo bhutva samatvam yoga vuchyate. It is not talking about the balance in asana. It's not only that one. Balance in asana can happen when the samatvam, balanced personality. For the balanced personality, balanced mental personality, we say that person is not reliable. That means that there is no balance here. Reliable person, if we want a recognition in the society also, the person has to be stable, grounded, and ba should have a balanced personality. Balanced personality through the pranayama. Start breathing, long inhale and longer exhale. And last week also I touched upon when we are um, calm and relaxed, you breathe 15 times a minute. Per cycle, inhale and exhale, it takes four seconds. Per minute, you breathe 15 times. Per one hour, you breathe 900 times. Per one day, you breathe 21,600 times. When you breathe 21,600 times, it is one day for the body, not it's measured based on the outer calendar. It's a, everyone is born with number of breaths. It is up to us how quickly we exhaust and how long we extend. Our capacity, human capacity, is 777.6 million breaths. It's, uh, we are born with 777.6 million breaths. It is up to us how long we ex extend and how quickly we exhaust. Instead of taking four seconds for cycle, I take only two seconds. Always under stress. So 21,600 times for the body, but outer clock, has gone only 12 hours. 100 years for the body, outer clock says 50 years. And if I practice pranayama, it's um, instead of taking four seconds per cycle, eight seconds per cycle, 21,600 times, one day for the body, outer clock has gone two days. 100 years for the body, outer clock says 200 years. And the longevity, health, our uh, uh, long life is dependent upon the upon our breathing also. That's in Bhagavatam also, it talks about the Chaturmukha Brahma, Brahma, the creator, when he created, even he has a time, it's a time slot. His breath also, he also is born 
heavy is also having 777.6 breaths. It's a common. Even uh, his number of breathing also 777.6. But in Bhagavatam it is given the fraction. His one second is equivalent to human 100,000 years. Our human 100,000 years, it is one, one, it, it's a, one, it's a one, one second. And even after 100, his 100 years, he has to depart, he will be replaced with another. All there are positions, all the devas, divine beings have a portfolio. They are in that portfolio for a while. After that one, they will merge with the highest, supreme. At um, 100, our 100 years, 777.6 number of breaths, is through the pranayama. Pranayama, we can extend that one. We are not living for the sake of living, for long life. And it says, purpose of yoga, live for long, live healthily, and have a good lifestyle, healthy lifestyle. As long as you live, continue to do the sadhana, practice. We don't know when we get an opportunity again. The benefit of the, doing that one, you see, discover the peace, serenity, contentment within. And uh, it's uh, looking at that person in the, uh, it's uh, Shweta Shwatar Upanishad also talks about how that person is practicing. You can look at, by looking at the person's eyes, person's face, you can see there is a vojas. There is some sort of uh, glow is there that when you start doing the practice, that radiance, one starts uh, exuding that radiance. You, see, you discover the happiness, stillness, that's the purpose. When you have a life, long life, continue to do the practice, practice, practice. And uh, when you do the practice, practice in the, in the karma yoga I talked about, in the Himalayas, yogis, they practice, practice, practice. And uh, after practice, and when the fruition, it starts bearing the fruit, they get a message. Now, come down to the plane, spread the message. The, as I mentioned, that... Uh, in the sages, they practice for centuries, years, they do that one. And when they get the message, they come down from the Himalayas and they spread the message. And may we also do that one, practice, practice, practice. And may be of use to the community. That's the purpose of pranayama, long life and the sadhana. The left thumb and index finger together.